you see the title. And we're going to kind of be serious for a second. So yesterday I happened to see a, a video of Cynthia G as a mother um, who was twerking with her daughter on TikTok. No problem with that. And then she's cussing out her daughter. I was on World Star or whatever. Because the daughter is being, you know, sexual and in that, you know, s sending people pictures of herself, this, that, and the third. And the mother, you ain't, you know, turn around, you ain't got no butt, this, that, and the third. And they had that movie about, about cuties, right? So, but cuties is different from this. For years and years and years, we've seen a lot of moms twerking, dancing very sexual, sexually in front of their children. Nobody says a word. That's not child abuse, really. Not in, not, not, not in, not in the United States. So in one minute you say, you know, the father's abandoning people, which is a stretch of words. Um, but what's going on in these homes and why are these kids so sexual? Why are these kids out here having sex? It just, but I guess not looking at moms twerking in front of little kids and teaching little girls how to be overly sexual at a very young age, prepubescent, you know, it's not a big deal. That's what y'all think. Babies in diapers, twerking. You know, toddlers, twerking. Preteens, twerking. Teenagers, twerking. Moms doing this in front of all of them and teaching them how to do it. And now the flip side about this is you want to talk about, you know, hypersexuality and, you know, the patriarchy and hypermasculinity and toxic masculinity. None of this hypersexualism that, that, that's being passed down by mothers is a problem. See, let's flip this around, just an ideology. Do you see any videos of dads out here just popping, you know, hey, hey, son, let me show you how to pop this thing in public. Like, do you, you don't see that. Guys have a, have a better understanding of you don't teach children sex. And guys are not going to go around doing that. You know, you got little girls throwing parties. You know, you got moms, aunts, Cousins, older cousins teaching little girls, oh, this is how you twerk it, this is how you pop it. You got ladies' nights, even with little girls. You, you, you out in public filming, dancing sexually, you know, with a grown, grown women and little girls. But then you running around talking about, you know, these little girls hot in the pants. But nobody says anything. And, you know, I get it. Some sisters will be like, you know, why are these little, uh, why are these guys out here being sexual predators on these young girls. And that's wrong. And that's abuse. But nobody's ever taken into consideration that y'all taught a good bit of these girls to be sexually su suggestive with grown men and kids their age. Because, you know, there's a lot more young girls trying to be sexual with boys their age and girls their age and men that are above their age, then people want to talk about. And where does it stem from? What's being taught at home? Sex, sex, sex. You know, moms on OnlyFans. No big deal, right? No big deal. Mom's a stripper. No big deal. Mom, you know, likes, um, how can I say this? Likes being extra sexual in front of the kids with mom's, Significant other. No big deal. So now these kids are coming out super sex crazy. You, you, you didn't put two and two together? Because truth is, this is not looked at as abuse. You know what I'm saying? And God forbid women do this because when women do it, it and this is the double standard. Think about anything that I'm saying right now and put a father in that mix. Father loses kids. Not a big deal. You know, some of you ladies are, are serving your kids up on a platter sexually. You know, some of these ladies pimping out their kids, You're putting their kids in bad sexual situations, knowing that it's a bad situation, knowing that they're around predators, but that's okay. See, that's not looked at as abuse. It's, a man's looked at as being an abuser, but a mom putting a, putting a, a child in a sexual uh, uh, abuse situation is looked at, oh, she didn't know. A lot of these chicks know. A lot of these moms know. A lot of, there's, there are too many women that have put their kid in the situation that they've been already in. 
And people wonder why there's such a problem. These kids are acting so grown so fast is because you're introducing to them, you're introducing grown concepts to them at an early age. And this dysfunction spills over into other things, but right now this is what I'm talking about. So I'm going to leave it right there. We're going to move on to the next thing. I'll catch y'all later. Peace.